Too bad this shit can't transform into a good movie somewhere <laughs> halfway through. Hey, that man, didn't happen. You, you can't expect miracles out of this. <laughs> no. I mean, there's only so many transformations you can make. You can go from a robot to an 18-wheeler to a, a, a Camaro to a motorcycle to a tiny, uh, what, boombox. And that's all the same robot doing that. Actually, this movie did transform from a bad movie into a turd. So Yeah, it, yeah. yeah I would wow. say it, it transformed from a bad movie to a, a much worse movie. Because, you know, I hated the first movie. So much so that I actually took a bullet to see a Lifetime film instead of this one. But I can't imagine this is actually worse than the first one. Well, you would have taken a real bullet after you had saw this. <laughs> I would have eaten a bullet yeah, on yeah, purpose. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I, I'm, yeah it's, it's, it's that, it's, it really is bad. I mean, uh, I, yeah, sorry. I mean, I was sitting there with you with the first one, and... I was falling asleep. I came out of it angry, just pissed. And with this one, I'm like, you know what? Either I'm just used to it now or whatever. I don't, I don't care. Uh, but that was for the first hour and a half, which actually turned out to be an hour. It just feels longer. But the second hour, oh, my God. It's Transformers the miniseries now. They don't have they, – they got – you, you can't just torture me for an hour and a half. Uh, you got to add a whole other hour. Just to set up the fact that Corey's about to tell you what the plot of it is, I can tell you that the movie's on for a good 90 minutes before they even tell you what it's really about. Yeah, no, let me tell you what the plot is in this movie. Uh, <laughs> the plot. Michael Bay went out to the desert and shot a patch of dirt with nothing there and said – Y'all just pantomime or ad lib. I know what I'm doing. I'll put a robot here later. That's the fucking plot of the movie because I swear they made up this movie as they went along. I I could read to you what they have on IMDb or uh, Rotten Tomatoes or Yahoo, but uh, it really won't matter because you cannot re- figure out what is going on. It's just a bunch of metal banging into each other. And when you don't have that, well, then you have dogs humping each other. You have uh, 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 Shia LaBeouf's mom high on brownies walking around making lame jokes. You have robots that are going around tearing up stuff, farting and acting like gremlins. Or you have... Uh, Good old fashioned racial stereotypes, anywhere from the Joe Pesci robot to the Step and Fetch It robot. Wow, are you sure we're not talking about the Phantom Menace here? You know what? <laughs> that, I, I had one of those Phantom Menace moments where I'm like, did I just hear what I thought I heard? Yeah, you got two Jar Jar Binks ro- like, like It wasn't enough to have one Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars. You got two Jar Jar Binks robots in this yeah. movie. Even Jar Jar Binks would come up and be like, damn, that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Damn, that's offensive. I mean, really. Misa Bombad, very uh, offended. <laughs> oh, speaking of which. Uh, Misa, uh, Misa find this very offensive. Yeah, I, I, I am not done telling you everything that's bad about this movie, but Carlisle, I know you loved it. You love Michael Bay. You worship Michael Bay, and you love that first there movie. Go. Here's so. the other side yeah, of it. On, all right. Let us know. Yeah. Hit us. Come with, on. Hold on. Right. I got to strap in first. All right. All right, go ahead. Fuck this movie. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Oh, damn, it looked like the intervention we had did work. <laughs> wow. No, no. This this had nothing to do with your guy's vibe. This movie fucking sucks. I mean, it, everything you've been bringing up. I mean, from from the, the, the stereotype robots to the, to the Pesci Bot 9000 to uh, fucking testicles yeah. on a transformer. There is a giant transformer climbing a pyramid and we've got John Turturro sitting there watching these clanging balls and we're supposed to be giggling. There are farts, there's vomit, there's there's uh, crying sequences. They, they try to get these robots to emote every single kind of bodily fluid they can for humor effect and it doesn't work. And this movie rips off just about every science fiction movie you can think of. I mean, there's a, there's a, it rips off Terminator, Gremlins, Species, Star Wars, The Matrix. Um, there's probably a couple others that I'm not thinking of right now. Not in a good way, though. No, not in a good way. You're just like, oh, come on. I mean, you, really? You don't have enough going on with giant robots that can transform that you've got to put a pastiche of bullshit together? <laughs> it sounds for to us? me like at this point, they're like, okay, you know the first one? A lot of the critics were like, you know what? They're just the, the plot wasn't that good. You know, the special effects were good, but yada, yada. They were like, you know what? We need to make these movies so bad and so dumb that people will just go, well, you know, it's for the kids. Well, the, pro- <laughs> the, the real problem with this film is that in the first film, those of us that that loved the first film, we were able to accept the basic premise of how they approached telling the story, where they were telling the story from the point of view of the humans who are just discovering the Transformers, and that way they the the filmmakers can explain the Transformers to us, and we can uh, we can the entire audience can understand what this is all about because we're seeing it through the point of view of our characters. This time around, we know what fucking Transformers are, and we're spending 90% of the movie following Shia LaBeouf around and then watching Michael Bay watch. Yeah. Uh, there are Michael Bay watch scenes in this in which they are only there to show Megan Fox 
running in slow motion and they do it like there's three of them back to back during one action scene where it just gets ridiculous oh yeah no they do that and this this is michael bay's world this they at, at the college uh shia labeouf sam witwicky in this movie who returns as he goes to a college campus that is tna university i mean they, not <laughs> not not one ugly chick in that in that class all of them are hot and they even have one transformer who's a woman. I don't know if I have clips for it or anything, but they do a shot. She had, you know what she has? She has a tail. And now I'm not talking about just a nice ass. No, she literally has a tail so that you can see that tail come out of her dress and see her panties as it comes out. I'm not saying that that's bad, but I'm just saying it's really obvious for Michael Bantz's point. Trans, she trans, uh, there's a transformer that transforms into a hot chick. Yes. Yes. You're telling it's, me? Yes. It, it's a bay former. A babe former. This, yes. Is he retarded? It's, yes. Has yes. he lost this, his this, fucking okay, mind? This is, this is everything I hate about, about Michael Bay. I've hated it ever since the beginning because he has a very crass, frat boy type sense of humor. So all his jokes come off that way. It's like, wow, you just beat me over the head with a joke that was mildly offensive and not even funny enough to make up for it. So, and that's what you get all through it. I mean, everything. It's, it's, all, it's, it's like sexist, it's racist, and it's just, it's, it's not even funny. But what? he thinks he's a, he's a scream. But what kills me is that I love Michael Bay's world. I love going and immersing myself in it for two, two and a half hours. And I'm sitting there watching this going, this film is exactly what everyone else tells me these films are to them. <laughs> it, was, it was really weird. It was, like, it, it was like walking a mile in another man's shoes. It's like, this is what you see every time you watch a Michael Bay film. I fucking hate this. <laughs> wow. I, I understand. Because it's everything he does done badly there's not a sink it, it's almost yep. as if he had finally proven himself with transformers and said look you guys said the world wouldn't accept a huge big budget uh film by me and they did so l i know what the fuck i'm doing let me do it and they took the reins off and he did something really really terrible well I, I, I will say with that first film, now you said you, you couldn't tell the difference. I could because the first film, I, I, I said, you know, I, I don't think this is good, but it's not as long as this movie is. This movie is, this movie is two and a half hours long, and there ain't nothing epic about this shit except robots fighting. So we're sitting up there. There really are scenes that are wasted by watching people do and animals do crass things or stupid things. And they at some point, they even bring in the... Archae the, the archaeological type of this movie. Uh, that, like, it turns into Indiana Jones all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, and, you have to do that now, apparently, with science fiction. Well, you in know? fact... They, <laughs> and with Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, there's, and with Shia and LaBeouf. there's a scene in which they, they pretty much just said, hey, Stephen left this great old set uh, in the middle of the desert <laughs> from, uh, from uh, 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 Last, Last Crusade. Crusade. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they used that set all over. I mean, you're like, oh, wait, boy. I've been to this place before. <laughs> yeah, you expect one of those robots to change into Indiana Jones and pick up a fedora and shit, you know, start whipping people. Well, apparently, yeah. since they can change into anything now i mean what are the rules yeah really you know i've seen some fake i'm still i can't get over this i've seen some fake ass strippers before but even i could tell if she was made of metal okay oh yeah <laughs> well, well see that's dude that's that's the thing that gets me it's like at the point where they can turn into hot females that you can't tell a difference that's a whole other movie in itself yeah, it's why like are, if why you aren't you that, turning into cars yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly why can't we just watch the movie about them turning into hot chicks really no, that's, and that's the truth i mean the autobots would be like why are we out here getting our asses shot yeah we just all of y'all changing the hot chicks, and we'll take over the world just by having y'all screw guys up. We'll start with the strip joints. The you know? only way this could work at all is if it turned out that Megan Fox had been a Transformer the whole time. That would have been be. hysterical. Okay, so, yeah, okay. If I was to say a good thing, yeah, the, it was to be those slow-mo shots of, of Megan Fox. They, they're awesome. But there's too many of them stacked right back to back on each other, which is another problem with this movie. It's like people will say, people will come out of it going like, man, there was so many more robots and so many more explosions. But it's so many to the point where, like, they don't mean anything. You well, just feel numb after a while. Well, this is yeah. another major problem with the film is remember all those really cool robots from the last film, you know, Ironhide and Jazz and, and Sideswipe, and, you know, just all these characters they introduced us to. Well, f forget them because they're going to show up in an action scene at the beginning and one at the end. And the rest of the movie we're spending with only three Autobots. We're, we're spending it with Bumblebee, who still can't talk for some reason, even though he, he rega I remember him regaining the ability right. to talk at the yeah. end of the last fucking movie. And then these two things that we keep calling the step and fetch bots, which are these they, – they, they've got gold teeth – 
they they fist bump they they do bad stereo stereotypical things they 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 make all these jokes that aren't fucking funny. Well, yet. it's the, the and, insult. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And, and that's who we spend the whole movie with. We don't spend the movie with Prime. We don't spend the movie with the cool Autobots. We're only it's it's like saying, hey, you're going to watch a Star Wars movie, but you're only going to hang out with Jar Jar Binks the whole time. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it really is at some point. You, I mean, the, it was insulting about it is that they do talk like. Hey, you want to stop? I'm going to put a cap in your ass. Things that black people don't even say anymore. Like, yeah, yeah, man, put a cap oh, in his ass. Yeah. Oh, yo, man, you want you want something me? Come on, you. Come on, mother effer. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, it's slang that black people don't use anymore. It's slang that even Will Smith doesn't use anymore. It's slang that even wiggers don't See, use anymore. I, I'm <laughs> hey, just looking forward to you the... You lay off us wiggers. Right? <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the fan film episode of Cops with those robots in the... Yo, man, what the hell are you doing? I didn't do yeah. nothing. Yo, oh, man. I'm sorry. That, that was in the, in the movie. That was actually <laughs> in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, they got away because they jumped the fence and the cop couldn't catch them. <laughs> uh, Yo, dog, you can't get me. And I was just expecting one robot to just chant, transform and just not even turn into a robot. Just go like, mammy. <laughs> yeah. Being blackface. It was Say, it was man, like, man. you got any Chinese spare ribs? And, <laughs> and then there's this scene where you think that one of them is dead and you're like, oh, thank God. And he's not. He's not. I know. Fuck. No, is it, is it the Joe Pesci robot? No, no, no. no. One, of, one of the step and fetch bots. Oh, the, yeah. No they, they, no, they think they're so cute. They leave. But yeah, but that's a problem problem with the movie it's it really doesn't make any sense where these personalities are coming from i mean the uh the the, the as we call them the step and venture bots are offensive but the jet the joe pesci robot it's a robot that just comes out of nowhere like oh i want to get whacked if i don't figure out what's going on here you know it's like it's steve yeah. buscemi i mean michael bay always finds something for steve buscemi sure but he sure. sounds like joe pesci and you think yeah. oh is that steve buscemi yeah yeah oh for fuck's sake and, and you, <laughs> yeah and you're sitting up there wondering like I'm confused because this doesn't even make sense. And and the problem with that is that they go okay. Let's just let's just say you're not offended by it, but it is to the point where it's cartoonishly cute. And they have these scenes where they go from devastating the city and killing you yes. know, hundreds of people in really horrible ways. And then we cut to like, yo man, that was that was whack. You know, it's like this doesn't fit. The cube's player. Do you have it? <laughs> yeah, I have it. It's in the shop safe. It's fine. M- Michaela, do not touch it. Okay. Don't touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Sam, it's fine. It's locked away. No one knows where it is. I do. You're hot, but you ain't too bright. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Oh! What are you looking at, slobber puss? What the? This place is a house of horrors. Hold on. Is that the best you got, huh? Is that the best you can do? I'm your worst nightmare. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Well, the my, pacing my, is all over the place. I mean, it, it's it's slow one minute, it's fast, but none of it's organic. We're in a big rush, but let's take our time over here. They travel in a, they they span the globe in a matter of hours, and it just in a Camaro. Like none of it makes any sense. <laughs> uh, dude, that's the laws of Michael Bay physics. <laughs> yeah, that's that was that point I giggled where we saw like three different uh, we th- saw three different worldwide cities all at the same time, and it was daylight in all three. So that's why I was laughing because <laughs> once again, Michael Bay has suspended worldwide day like it's not night anywhere because we need a dramatic shot. Was it in John Turturro's contract that they had to make a character in this film more annoying than he was so that they, by juxtaposition, by putting these two guys together for the rest of the movie, you wouldn't hate John Turturro as much? Okay, and let me let me say this, and this is going to be a, a positive thing about the movie that you guys will probably jump on me about. I found John Turturro much less annoying in this one than I did in the first one. I, no, I agree. He really is. Are you talking about the guy that he, the, the kid that he was hanging with? Yeah, uh, because the kid that he was hanging with got all the lines that John Turturro got in the last movie. So John Turturro only had halfway decent lines in this movie. Even though I did think they put a line in his contract and said, we'll give you a little bit more money if you pull your pants off again. And this oh. time, you're not going to even have boxes on. Your underwear is going to be crawling up your ass. I, I got to no, say, I was, was holding thong. out to like go like, look, I don't want to just jump on it and do the predictable thing and give it to some old bullshit. But at that point, when he pulled his pants down and revealed that he was wearing a thong,